Over 27 years ago, Ivan Omine's geologists began exploration activities in the former Katanga province in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. We were searching for copper mineralization over a massive land package of 50,000 square kilometers. We believed there was a western extension to the great Central African copper belt, obscured beneath a layer of Kalahari sands. The blanket layer of Kalahari sand left no surface impression of the copper lying beneath. Exploration requires time and patience, and so our painstaking work began. Geophysical surveys, soil samples, and thousands of meters of drilling. In 2008, the geological theory was confirmed with the landmark discovery of the high-grade Kamoa deposit. After discovering Kamoa, which today contains almost 25 million tons of copper, we intensified our exploration efforts. In 2015, Ivano brought in Zijin as partners to develop the project as a joint venture. The following year, in 2016, the discovery of the ultra-high-grade Kakula deposit changed the entire landscape for Ivano Mines and the DRC. Kakula was as large as Kamoa, but with grades well in excess of 6% copper. Kakula's grades were approximately 10 times higher than the average grade of copper mines globally of approximately 0.6%. Kamoa Kakula quickly became the largest copper discovery in Africa and the fourth largest in the world. As Kamoa Kakula entered its development phase, Ivano brought in Citic Metal as a strategic partner, who invested over $1 billion to fund construction for phase one. Construction activities of the Kakula phase one concentrator with a processing capacity of 3.8 million tons per annum, began in January 2020. By May 2021, the Phase 1 concentrator was built and commissioned, on budget and months ahead of schedule. This was a monumental achievement during COVID-19 and just five years after the discovery of the Kakula ore body. At the same time, we began the construction of the Phase 2 expansion doubling the processing capacity to 7.6 million tons per annum. At Kamoa Kakula, our electricity comes from clean, green hydropower, thanks to our partnership with the DRC state-owned power utility called Snell. Together we completed the refurbishment of the Mwadinkusha hydropower station in September 2021, generating 